Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brighton. I am a part-time reseller on Mercari and Poshmark. And today I have for you a not blue box jewelry Goodwill box. This box I ordered online and it is from a Goodwill. It was five pounds of jewelry. It was $19.99 plus I had to pay $9 shipping. So from Florida to Virginia, it was $9 to ship. Um, I have no idea what's in here. It did not say, it did say on the site, on the listing that had an average of two to three times your, your, it said almost, I think it said either guaranteed or it has an average of people who buy these make two to four to six times their money back. We'll see if that's true. I know personally from a subscriber who was awesome, you know who you are, who also ordered two of these boxes. I only ordered one and her boxes were not worth even the $30. So we shall see. I am going to try and have you differently. I think I'm going to have you, we're going to open it differently this time. Something a little different. Let me We're going to open it this way. I have not opened a bit of a box like this. Let me remove my... Okay, here's the box. Luke Tupin picked. I ordered one. It was $19.99. They did not charge tax. So my total was $29.14. Now this is the same person. If I am, if I'm hope, I'm hoping is right. Um, or I'm hoping I'm wrong. Uh, I believe this is the same person that um, did my um, subscribers box and she said it was not good. Sorry guys, you guys are gonna get like whiplash for a minute. This is what we got. And let's start digging. I don't know if you guys want to like this way of doing it or not, or this is just something new. It's not a blue box. It's just a regular box. Okay. I actually have one of these. This is, I believe, Brilliance by Swarovski. They are not marked. They come not marked. The only reason I know this is because I have one in pink that is brand new in the box that I actually bought to give as a Christmas gift. Um, at Kohl's. So that's pretty. This is a for sure sell. Um, I probably will not sell that myself. That is something I will take to a buy sell trade store. Oh shoot. One second guys. All right guys, I am back. I changed the position just a tad. Okay, my camera is Um, I just bought these containers. I got them from the dollar store. I could not believe it. They are actually really nice. They have latches and they also have handles. And what I'm going to do with these as I have three. Okay. One is for craft. One is for me to resell myself. And one is stuff this takes straight to local buy sell trade. And I just noticed this one is broken. So I'm going to have to take that back. Um, so yes, that is the plan. I have been loving taking things straight to buy, sell, trade stores. I've been making a nice bit doing it. I hope, I hope this is a good position. If 
not, this is just a one-time thing. Um, okay, we have another bangle, not marked. It does have all of its rhinestones, so we'll see. I am hoping for earrings. This looks like Avon. It's marked with an R. I'm not sure who R is, but leave that. It looks dirty, so I'm just going to clean it, wipe it off, and I'll look into that for myself to sell. Oh my gosh, I love this. Um, it's not marked and it is very dirty tarnished, but I might be able to clean that. Um, I do not think this is silver or anything, but it has these really cute, um, elephants. Very that tribal. It's not magnetic. I do not think this is silver, but it could be, I guess. It doesn't look like silver. It doesn't look like silver to me. But it is so cute. Um, I can't sell that myself. Okay, we have like a little some earring. Okay, here we go. We have like a little baggie of earrings, which is great. I have been loving taking earrings to my you know, local trades. I have made a nice bit doing it. I just took in a bunch. Okay, we have. Earring. Earring. It's right there. I don't see matches. Oh, here we go. Nope, that's not a match. Not a match. Okay, I think we got a bag of the single earrings. No. Okay, there's a match. It's one earring or two. Maybe it's just one earring. I think I got a bag of just single earrings. Sorry, you guys, if you guys hear some loud noises in the back. My neighbor is pressure washing, it sounds like. Okay, so we have a couple matches. These are all singles. So I'm going to move all the single earrings off to the side, and maybe we'll get them. Oh, no, that's a match. Um, these almost look like Haskell. They're not. And they're really bad, so that's one of the crafting ways. Okay, so with all of that, we got a pair of these blue ones. I don't think my saw uncle will take them, but maybe um, clothes mentor might. Um, we have these earrings. We have these. I actually have sold these earrings in the past. I only got 90 cents for them. <laughs> So not big bucks, but you know, every penny counts. These, these are actually really pretty. None of these are marked that I'm, I can see. Not marked, but it, it's a pretty um, pendant. Um, I might take it off this chain because this chain is pretty, pretty rough looking. And we have another one of these like very. Oh, does this match the earrings? I think this matches the earrings. Yes. No. Maybe not. I don't know. That's very pretty. Again, the chain it, it needs to be cleaned. That's pretty. It's not marked. It's pretty. We have a stretch bracelet. All the rhinestones seem to be there. So 
encore. Um, we have a bangle that's like AB coated with the oil slick kind of look. Look, we have a match to these wooden earrings. So that's good. Oh, well, here's some rhinestones that are just like sitting here. So those must. I'm gonna have to take another look at this. Yep, okay. So these red earrings have an um, rhinestones missing. I did not pay enough attention to that. So those are craft. So, craft. Um, yeah, I'm not expecting a whole lot. Like I said, this box was $30. Um, so my expectations were low. This is 1928. So that's good. It needs to be cleaned. It's pretty. That looks like silver possibly. It is. That's 925 and this is marked Avon. So this is a little Avon pendant. And this is marked 925. It's really pretty. A little medallion pendant. 925. I will probably keep this. That is really cool. I need to do some research on this. I this is really cool. It has like a face in the middle. Like this looks like almost Aztec. Like that's really cool. That might be my favorite piece so far. And it's there. Then we have these earrings. They're nothing special. Probably go to craft, but. Oh man, we have a sassy tassel that is um seen better days. Okay. My goal with this box is to at least make my money back. Um, we have some wooden earrings. If we make money, awesome. But I have not been buying blue boxes because of the price increase. I think $50 for junk is absolutely ridiculous. Um, this is actually nice. This is, this is, has a little bit of weight to it. This is actually decent. I'll sell that locally. These are all wrapped together. I hope that's J. Crew. I do not think it is, but I hope it is. Oh, we have some earrings. These are nice. Little hoop gold tone earrings. This looks like maybe a Claire's. Let's see. I don't know that. It's marked the flower, but it just looks like a Claire's piece. So it's gonna craft. It's it's it ha it's a little dingy. Oh, I like this earring. This is actually a really cool earring. So I hope we get the match to that. Some filigree. Oh, look, here's an earring. Oh, look, I think we got the match. Yes, we did. So those are cool. At least we're getting matches on earrings, so that's good. You usually can get about um, 90 cents to a dollar per pair. Sometimes a dollar twenty, sometimes a dollar fifty. It just really depends on the earring. That's craft. Um, just really depends on the earring. These look like Haskell. I don't know if they are or not, but. They look like the Haskell pearls. You know how they have like those pearls that look like real pearls, but they're not. These look like Haskell almost. Do some research on those. This is 925 silver, marked China. That is silver pendant. So I'm fine with getting silver pendants because I can just get a chain and I can put on it and I can sell it. So we got three pendants now. Okay, so let's 
figure this mess out. Cause look at this. Look at this mess. That is how it came. Let's see. Let's untape it. I'm hoping. Ooh, ooh. Hello. I like this one. I like this. So we'll see what that is. This is craft. Um, this popped out, but I don't even know if it's worth fixing. It's unmarked, unbranded. I will probably just craft with this. I am a crafter, guys. So for $30, even if this is all craft, it's worth it to me for the craft pieces. So I could fix this or I can um, just craft with it. I will probably just craft with it. I really do need to make a um, crafting video. It just hasn't happened yet. Let's, let's do that one. It has just not happened. Also guys, I did weigh this and it did weigh just at five pounds. It was just barely five pounds. It was like 5.1 or something like that. We have another one of those little Swarovski crystal, not Mark Swarovski, but like I said, I have received them before and that it, or I have bought one before and it was Swarovski, so I'm just going to assume that it is, but I'm going to sell it locally anyway, so Oops, sorry about that guys. Oh, we have a little green here, it's kind of fuzzy. We have, oh, you know, this is a pretty little bracelet. Um, I can definitely tell this is not high quality, but it's pretty and I can, might be able to sell this locally. It's very, very, very lightweight plastic, but it's pretty. So the pretty things sell. Oh, it looks like we have another pair of earrings. So far, I'm pretty happy. Um, like I said, I did not have my expectations high on these boxes. But for the price of $30 shipped, um, that's really good. It's really good. These little earrings, uh, these do not sell. Even at local buys little trade stores, those do not sell. I'll still take it. You know, I have been surprised. Um, Close Mentor, which is the one. Oh, I know who this is going to show to. If I can untangle it. Oh my goodness, guys. This is craziness. This is, this is all a huge tangle. This is a huge tangle, and this is a huge tangle. I hope that means there's some good stuff because they just left it in a tangle. I see some silver, I think. Yeah, we got some silver. And I will be keeping this. Actually, let me... You may have received two pieces. No, just one. I'm going to put this... Mm, I think this one kind of matches it better, but this one's my favorite. So I'm going to put on this. Look at that, guys. We have a 925 silver necklace. So, that pendant is gorgeous. The chain is my style. Perfect. I am happy. This looks like just like a multi strand necklace. Um, yeah. So, it goes something like something like this um no okay this is a homemade bracelet but i will use these charms for crafting oh we got the matching earring okay i love these earrings i love them um i might sell these myself but i'll probably just take these to buy sell trade i'll probably get about I think for these, they'd probably mark these about six, so I'll probably get about a dollar twenty for them. No. 
I get 30 to 40% with they'll sell it for. So six, a dollar, no. I don't know, guys. They usually mark the earrings between four and seven dollars. So I think these might be able to on the higher end though. They're pretty. Love that. Ooh, I love this bracelet. This, this is a stretch. It has a mother of pearl charm. I do not think this is silver, but it is not magnetic. I forgot to check the chain. Okay. Yeah. I do not think this is silver, but it is very pretty. That's cool. Um, I'm not going to sell that myself, but this is broken. Craft. Okay, we got this. So these, this would be a super easy, simple fix for me. I have ear hooks already. All I have to do is put a jump ring and then an ear hook and these are ready to go. So that is something I can definitely do. I don't mind super simple, easy fixes. It's just when it comes to like, it needs a complete scrub down, I'm done. Like, it's not worth it for me at that point. These are really pretty. I think I can definitely sell these for about 90 cents at my local buy sell trade. So those are nice. So far we're doing pretty good. We have a little pendant. We have a broken earring. Also guys, don't forget, leave a comment. Do you like it this way? Do you not like it this way? I want to know. Like I want to know if this is something you guys want me to do on a regular basis or if it was like a one and done. Untangle this. This feels very nasty, but again, almost everything from Goodwill feels kind of nasty. You just, it comes with the territory. You just need to keep lots of um, hand sanitizer and wet wipes near you. This is nice. Um, it needs to be cleaned, but this is a nice bracelet. I will not sell this myself, but I will for sure take that to a local buy sell trade. Like I said in the beginning, guys, that is my goal. Like this. This is for sure something they would probably take. These actually might be something I might sell. They have an MRS MRSP of $39.99. They were selling that for $14.99. Are these silver? They do not appear to be silver. But I might sell those, you know. We have a post earring that is in pretty rough shape. We have a bone earring. This is marked. I can't tell what that says, but it's marked something. I'll have to do some research. I do not think this is gold or silver, but just because of the earring that it's on. See, little earring. So far, nothing huge money maker. I love the. Oh, I love this. Oh, and we have both. I just need again. I'll just replace the ear wires. Perfect. Easy, easy fix. That is something I will definitely do. This looks like a crystal that came off that one chandelier earring. Okay, this looks like maybe a quartz necklace. This is a lucky brand. Um, whenever you see a four leaf clover like this, that is the lucky brand jewelry logo. Um, a lot of people miss this because it doesn't say lucky brand on it. But if it is a four leaf clover like this one, it is an almost guaranteed to be um, lucky brand. So this is a for sure sell. I will probably sell this myself. Um, we have a vintage pendant that is broken, I think. It's a craft. We do have a match to this one, but I think it was missing a crystal. I don't know. I'll have to, um, I'll have to go back and see if that crystal goes to this or something else. Let's see. One of those blue crystals. So I'm going to put that to the side right here and I'll have to 
fix that. Ooh, guys. Oh, I love this. These are all glass beads. Um, they're all heart-shaped beads, and they are glass. These are nice quality glass beads. I will probably cut this, and I will use the beads. I can make so many earrings with this. Or, like, make some dainty necklaces where it's just, like, one heart on a necklace. So, yeah, this is for sure a, a good piece. Um, that's good. Oh, look, we do have a matching... I don't know, guys. Is this worth it to sell if it has, like, the whole matching set? Usually when it's, like, kids, like, kitty jewelry, I don't do anything with it. But, I mean, we have the set. So, we'll see. We have the matching green earring. I will test these and see if it is um, mercury glass. I don't think it is, but I'm pretty sure it's just plastic. This is a homemade piece. I can already tell by the end. I will just use these beads. Oh, look, this is a matching earring or a bracelet to go to the earring right there. Okay, this feels like it's nice quality. I wouldn't be surprised if this was silver. It's very heavy. I would not be surprised if this was silver. I don't think it is, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was. I don't think it is, but that might be a test. Or that is a test. Look, we have another one of those little blue crystals. Somewhere they're coming off. <clears throat> We have another broken purple thing. We have another broken flower. Okay, we have a Jones JNY New York. This is very nice. This is a brushed antique gold tone with a faux tortoise shell link. And it is marked with the N, um, JNY tag. So this was, this is a good bracelet. Um, uh, we have this one. TP. Ooh, this is heavy. Let me see if I can find a maker's mark. I might list this and just put it as like steampunk, goth, Y2K, like this is heavy. Like this is a he very hefty bracelet. You hear that? It's fun. A little homemade bracelet. Probably won't list that myself, but I might um, take it to a style or something. Guys, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed so far. This might be silver. Nope, it is not. It's very pretty. Okay. Oh, we have a match too, so that's great. So far, we've I we've gotten a lot of matches, so I'm very happy with that. This is marked. I have never seen that maker's mark before. It's just like an H. Never seen that before. It does have the matching earrings. This is definitely vintage. I love it when people put the earrings on the necklace. That way they don't get separated. This is missing almost all of its rhinestones on the earrings, unfortunately. Um, and it's missing rhinestones on necklace as well. So that's unfortunate. That's all craft. Okay. 
There's actually not that much left. This is it before we have the really big tangles. Okay, so we have a pendant. Lots of pendants. This is actually a really cool one though. So that's cool. There's a whole bunch of like stone chips. Almost like aztec -y looking. Back pendants. I think we got this earring. Yes, we do. I don't think I will do anything with those. I'll probably end up in craft, but these. Have, I'm so glad we're getting matches. These. We have this. This goes with that other one. Oh, yay, we got this one. I'm happy with this one. This one it was one of the first ones we got. I pulled out and I was hoping for a match. I like the mixed gold and silver tone. So those are cool. We have a matching set of these, so that might help it sell locally. <laughs> um, this is broken, but this is an easy fix. Unfortunately, though, it's not just broken there. One of the cords has also been cut off. So this is probably going to go to craft. It's just too much to fix. Like That's something like I would not fix just because it has so much going wrong with it. So now we got to work on this. I don't know if I should pause you guys while I do it or not. Oh look, we have another shell earring. So two must be earrings and one must be a pendant. So we have a set. Nice. I'm very, like I said, I am very happy with this so far. I am so sorry to the person who got theirs and it was not good. Because <laughs> I'm, I, don't get me wrong, there's not one piece that will make my money back. But, we have several, like, good pieces in here. I might have to pause you guys and figure out how to untangle this without breaking anything. Sorry about that, guys. I was itching right next to my camera. Uh, okay, I'm gonna pause you guys and untangle this. All right, guys, I am back. My hands are absolutely filthy, but I was able to get a lot untangled. This, I still have this untangled to go through, but I did the one. This is just a double strand silver tone um, chain. I'll just put one of the pendants that we got with it. This is unbranded, very short choker necklace, but it's cute. We have this cool jewels, probably looks like a little vacation, kind of like um, gift shop necklace. It's a little flip flop. Cool jewels. I've never heard of that brand before. We got this New York and Company. This was. A, thi a part of the tangle. This and this gold beaded one that I'm about to show you. Um, this is a long New York and Company necklace. Um, I might sell this because it's in really good condition, but I'll probably just take it to a local buy sell trade. But it is in good condition, so I could I could sell it myself. I'll have to think about it. This was a really good one. This was a major cause of the tangle but this is a nice and weighty and it is smart kenneth cole has a really nice clasp like these are the nice clasps it's a brushed like buttery gold tone so hair and these are glass faux pearls it's very pretty i will for sure sell this myself like i said it's weighty and it's glass and it's in really good condition so that was a really good find. This was another brand I've never heard of or I've never seen this mark before. It looks like a seashell maybe um, or a, a star with a seashell or 
it's the same logo on both sides. So if you know it, please let me know. But it is just like a double strand, or no, one strand double pendant. And these usually sell for me at the buy sell trade stores. I've sold several similar pieces to them and they have bought it. But I would like to know what the brand is. Um, this is just craft. This was just craft. It's broken. It's glue. It's missing rhinestones. This I need to do research. This is all the rhinestones are there and it feels nice quality. You'll see those. Um, and it has this as the closure and it is marked. Um, this is the closure. It is marked with a tiny little symbol. Ah. I have no idea what that symbol is. But if you know, please let me know. But this is a very pretty necklace. And this was probably the best find in the tangle. It is a, remember what I said about the four leaf clover? Lucky brand three strand moon necklace. This is gorgeous. And I have no doubt I will be able to sell this for a nice bit. Um, like, I don't know, maybe I'll list it for like 20, 25 maybe more. I just had to look at comps, but I'm going to assume 20, 25 ish. But, um, but yeah, I'm super excited about that piece. Like I said, this was a major cause of the tangle as well. All right, guys, I'm going to pause you again and I'm going to go to the next, um, tangle. All right, guys, I am back. Um, Brought it all on Tangle. This one was much easier than the other Tangle. This it was a New York and Company necklace, but it um, the rhinestone chain broke, so that's craft. We have this marked new um, NY, which is New York and Company. Double strand. It's pretty. Um, I'm not going to sell that. I'll take that to buy some trade. Um, we have this long tassel with like a agate of some kind unfortunately it is chipped on the back um i'll take it to buy sell trade but they probably won't take it because of the chip but it is a really cool piece of agate stone so that's a shame we have this this is dyed shell with like ab crystal beads um i'm going to take this apart and use the ab crystal beads because I have a couple of like dyed shell necklaces and none of them have sold and none of my belly sale trade stores want them. So I'll just use the beads. We have this little necklace. This is gold plated, or at least the chain is. The necklace is in pretty rough shape, the pendant, but the chain is um gold plated. It says right on it 14G P, um, 14GF. No. What does it say? Made in Brazil. 18 kgp. So there's a gold plated chain with a pendant. The pendant does not go on it. Um, I don't think it goes on it at least. But I don't know. We have that. We got the match to this earring. So we have these little matches. It's cool. We have this. I actually really like this. This is a New York company. It has a little bit of wear, so I probably won't sell it myself. But it has like this glass or real stone, maybe even carnelian um, pendant. And it's long, and they like these kind of necklaces. So. It's a really cool pendant, but um, yeah, the chain has quite a bit of wear on that. 
We have this, this marking, in case you guys don't know, it's a J, two, almost looks like two J's, but it's a J and an L, and it's J-Lo. That's Jennifer um, Lopez's jewelry um, collection, usually sold at Kohl's. Um, it has a little bit of wear, especially on the clasp. You can see it's kind of turning, um, but it's a, still a nice necklace. I'll take that to buy some trade. Um, yeah. We have this New York and Company. This is like a long tassel necklace. These have quite a bit of wear um, in rust, it looks like, in verdigris. So um, this will go to craft. I'll try and clean it, but I doubt it. Yeah, that's when I go to craft. Um... Um, we have this necklace. This was not marked. Just a silver tone long beaded necklace. I do not sell these, but I will take it locally. We have like this faux glass. I believe these are plastic evil eye necklace on a faux suede. Um, it's pretty, but it's, it's plastic on faux suede, so it's nothing spectacular. This is a really pretty little Claire's piece. I have to go over it again to make sure there's nothing missing, but as long as there's nothing missing, I will probably list this. I'll probably just take the Claire's tag off and sell it as like a Y2K. It kind of looks like Betsy Johnson to me. They probably, that's why I first saw, when I first saw, I thought this was Betsy Johnson, but it's cool. Um, we have this New York and Company necklace. Again, it has some wear and it is missing one of the tassels. But I could take the tassel off the one necklace, this one, and put it on this one. But I, I don't think it's worth it. But that's an option. I'll just put these together and maybe I can do something with that. We did get the matching earring. So we have earrings and a bracelet. So we have that. Um, I think this was the last piece. Yes, this is the last piece. This again has some wear to it. It is unmarked, um, but it is so cool. So it is this like howlite um, center. It's not real turquoise. It's probably howlite. Yeah. Um, it has like this cool like textured designed heart and it spins uh oh it did spin there we go but it spins it is missing some of the turquoise chips on the back you can see like right here it's missing some and up here and but yeah um overall i think this was a pretty good box i definitely think this was worth 30 dollars for sure um, would I buy the skin? Yes. I think, I think I can make my money back just by selling this, um, Lucky Brand necklace, this New York and Company, I think this was, no, Jones New York bracelet, the Kenneth Cole necklace. Um, I need to look up this brand. I need to test this for silver. Um, I'm going to sell this probably only like 10 bucks, but still, um, we have this lucky brand necklace with the clear quartz. Um, New York and company that I will probably sell this one cause it's in good condition. This little necklace, again, I need to figure out who the maker is because it's such a pretty little necklace. Um, this guy double checked for the stones, make sure they're all there. Some glass beads. Um, I think this was a 1928 piece. I think this was just, I don't know what this was. I just thought it was something. And then this cool pendant. 
So I think, let's just say I get, let's be on the conservative side, after fees and everything, $5 each piece. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 30. So that, that alone makes my money back. 35, 40, 45. I don't know if I would sell this as is, but the beads alone, you know, make us worth it for me. So this will make my money back, plus hopefully some. That. Hopefully this is silver. If not, it's okay. It's still cool bracelet. I'll still list it, even if it's not silver. Um, actually, it is marked. It is marked S925, so this is a sterling silver bracelet. Um, so this alone might get me my money back. So that's cool. Let me see if I can get to show you the marking. But it's right here. Right here. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. But, um, pause it and then you'll be able to um, see it. But it is marked S925. So this alone should probably get me my $20. So yeah, and then this is all stuff I will probably take my local Bicel trade. This is craft. Um, plus all these single, ear um, single earrings down here. We did get some silver. We got this 925 silver chain. And then we also got this marked 925 right there pendant we got this pendant we got this little Avon pendant we got this 925 pendant we got this unbranded little pendant so and this I need to test for silver I don't think it is but you just never know you just really don't but yeah that was my box I'm pretty happy with it. Um, let me do that. I'm pretty happy with it. I for sure think I will make my money back on this. I think I will make money on this. Plus, we have this huge pile of earrings over here that do the matches. Not all of them I will sell. Not all of them I will take to buy, sell, trade. Um, my hands are disgusting. That is something you guys, if this is something you want to do, um is you're going to get dirty and if you're okay with that good if not this may not be the thing for you um i mean you can always wear gloves but um yeah this you know you get dirty doing this also you have to have patience that first tangle took me probably 20 minutes or maybe a little bit more to untangle um so thank goodness I did it off camera, but yeah, so you need patience and you need lots of Lysol wipes and hand sanitizer. So that was it. I definitely think this box was a success. I think for the price, I think this is very on average with a blue box. Actually, I think this might be above average with the new stuff, like the new boxes that are coming out that are even worse. Um... I think this was a really good box, especially for only $29. What was it? $30? $31? I think this is a steal for that price. Like I said, on average, if I can sell each piece after fees and everything, if I just make a $5 profit on each item, I will almost double what I paid. Plus, I have all of the stuff I want to take locally, like... Hopefully they'll buy these bracelets. If so, that's a good 90 cents bracelet. Hopefully they buy some of these earrings. If so, that's a good 90 cents per pair of earrings. So I'm hoping that I can make half my money back just selling the stuff locally. But even if I don't, even if they don't accept it, I still have what I'm going to list myself. So that is it, guys. Um, please give it a thumbs up. Ooh, that is nasty. Um, please give this video a thumbs up. I, it really helps my channel. The more likes and comments that I get, the more 
interaction um, YouTube sees in the video and they will recommend it to other people. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, I hope you liked this video. Like I said, give it a thumbs up. I think I will be ordering another one. Um, I might wait a little bit before I do that just because I have, I don't have any jewelry boxes coming. But right now I am really trying to de-stash. Like I am really trying to get through, like, unless I think I can get more than $10 for it, I'm taking it locally. I used to save things I thought I could get five bucks for. I had a container full of jewelry I thought I'd get five bucks for. I went to Style Encore. They took about half of it. Um, didn't make as much as I thought I would, but I still got quite a bit. Um, I usually, I got between like a dollar to two dollars for necklaces. I think the most expensive necklace was two fifty. That was because it was branded and it was nice quality. But, um, I also did go to a clothes mentor and they took about 75% of what was left. And I made a decent profit on that. Um, again, you do not make a lot of money per an item. I only recommend you taking things that you do not want to list yourself. Things that you would normally put in a craft lot. That is what I put in these boxes. I took probably like four of these absolutely full. Okay. And they took a lot. Well, it was probably two absolutely full and then maybe like one combined. But, um, yes, I'm talking things like if this was not branded and it wasn't silver and it wasn't real. Okay. Well, that's a bad example. Um, these earrings, I would say most of us who do these boxes would probably put this in a craft lot. I don't put these in craft lots. I take these, I put them on a card back. I put ear backs on them and I take them to my local buy, sell trade stores. They may take them. You may not take them, but you have that option like these or these 90 cents adds up guys. Um, you know, you sell something for 90 cents. You said you sell 10 of them. That's $9. That's how much you just sell one piece for, you know, some craft lots, you know, you can only get about $15 a bag for it. So if you can sell 10 pieces for 90 cents or, you know, if it's a nicer necklace, still unbranded that you would normally put in a craft lot, take them to Style Encore, take them to Close Mentor, take them to Plato's Closet. I'm not saying they're going to take all of it, but there's a good chance that they will take a good portion of it. So that's it. That's all I have to say. Um, like again, please give this a thumbs up. Give me a comment. Um, and I hope you guys have a great day. Um, stay safe and healthy, guys. Bye.